Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is the ministry that enables you to ask Bible questions. If you send me your Bible question, I promise that I will do my best to give you a Bible answer. Even though I'm not a Bible answer man, I can tell you what I think and what I believe the Bible teaches. So do keep your questions Bible related, if you would. I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send any questions that you might have. And we got a question today from a listener who is concerned about 1 John chapter 3, verse 9. So let me read that verse. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Now this man writes that he was upset as a new Christian because he knows, he was honest, he knows that he has sinned. And he was wondering if he lost his salvation or if he never had it. Because if you're born of God, you do not sin. So he wants to know what that verse means. Well, it doesn't mean that someone who is saved is sinlessly perfect. You know, when you get saved, from the second that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes to live literally inside of you. Yes, that is literal. And so it's not just your spirit, but it's the Holy Spirit. Your body becomes a duplex, as it were. Normally, it's one person, one spirit. But now, it's one person, two spirits, yours and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit in a Christian begins the sanctification process at the moment of salvation. In other words, the work of the Holy Spirit in a Christian is to make them more and more like Jesus. And so as you continue to pray and continue to read the word and continue to study the word and continue to worship and praise God, the Holy Spirit continues to sanctify you and makes you more like Jesus. But that process doesn't reach its ultimate outcome, its ultimate finality until you die because we still have our sin nature, or the equivalent of a sin nature, whatever you want to call it, we have it. Something that, something that is always trying to pull us down into sin. And from time to time, we give into it. That's why God gave us 1 John 1, 9. If you confess your sin, he's talking to Christians, God is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So obviously, Christian sin, or God never would have put that in there and wrote it to Christians. When it says that those who are born of God do not commit sin, it's talking about the fact that sin is not our lifestyle. We're not okay with sin. We don't just commit sin and not feel guilty. We don't commit sin and think, well, it's no big deal. We don't commit sin and not confess and not repent. A Christian will fall into sin, but they hate their sin. They don't live in their sin. They confess their sin. They want to get back on track with God. They want to be cleansed, so they confess. They want their fellowship with God to be restored. And so they confess and they repent. They're not okay with their sin. A true Christian does not live in sin as if it's no big deal. And that's what that's talking about. If you're a person, you call yourself a Christian, and, and you think it's okay to, to be what many in modern evangelicals say is a carnal Christian, mister, you're not even saved. You are not saved. Because no one who is born of God continues in sin. I hope that helps. If you have any questions for me, please send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Until next time, so long, everyone.